What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here and welcome to a new album review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the latest album from the band Alter Bridge, entitled Pawns and Kings. This is the band's seventh studio album across their entire discography and this is the second album to be released through a different record label of Napalm Records. Now, I am actually a new fan of Alter Bridge and I've always come across some multiple praise and words from anybody in involving some of my friends who do love this band and since the anticipation for the album was really high I decided to discover this band for the first time when I wanted to check out a few of their earlier albums like Blackbird and a few of the latest stuff just to get the hype up for this new album Pawns and Kings after listening to this album many more times, I will have to just personally say this question. Why have I been missing out awfully? Alter Bridge are a band that has been making music into the fusing genres of hard rock as well as alternative metal. This is a band that has been formed with Miles Kennedy and the other three musicians who were from a previous band called Creed, involving Mark Tremonti. And what I can really say about Mark Tremonti is that I always respected him as a musician and with a really different and quite a unique flavour into his own writing of riffs and guitar soloing. But when him and Miles Kennedy matched together into Alter Bridge's sound, this has been... A brilliant experience because Alter Bridge with this new album has possibly made one of the band's heaviest works to date in the band's history. This album has 10 tracks, 50 plus minutes onto its runtime, and what I really love the most about this album is that almost every single track is perfect, very consistent. And there's a lot of detail and describings to really address these different views onto the songwriting. There's loads of these places from the songs where a lot of the riffs are incredibly inventive and some that can be really addictive at the same time. Because when I have listened to these tracks on random choices, I just couldn't get a hold of them because they have been incredibly catchy, memorable, and as instantly fun to listen to. Opening track This Is War is a phenomenal example of that. Lyrics wise, as you would expect from the way they sounded, addresses on like the fear and anxieties going ahead and the music is immediately one of the band's heaviest. Drop A flat tuning which was very surprising but the way they arrange it and analyze the sound they don't go ballistic in making it a very heavy song they do make riffs that are sounding heavy but at the same time kennedy's voice and the accompanying soloing to the chorus all matches into this brilliant piece i always love this track because it does have this eclectic and stunning result into the skills and power that this track does make. Other highlights on this album, Silver Tongue, which is one of the other songs that can be as catchy. I like that they just decide to diverse things because this can be rock type of, of a groovy type of flavor. Maybe something like that Blackstone Cherry could achieve something like this. But again, melody wise, from the guitars to Kennedy's vocals on here, I think this is one of the other strongest cuts. And what I think is probably my favourite song on this album is the title track, the last track, Pawns and Kings. This is just an epic song from start to finish. The way Kennedy sings on this one is beautiful. And there's a lot of the intensity that other songs like this is War happened, but Pawns and Kings, like on some of the latest sections, especially the double bass pedaling drumming action and these other guitar ideas, they definitely made something quite progressive, but it's all a complete and phenomenal experience. 
I think Pawns and Kings as a song itself is one of these other newer greatest Alter Bridge tracks. Just like with many of their other hits from the heyday that have been praised, Blackbird obviously has been one of their most famous and beloved. But I think this title track is one of the absolute best new additions into that type of of path for one of the strongest points on songwriting. What I think is another awesome track is Season of Promise. Season of Promise, I don't know about you, but it's kind of like on a similar vein instrumentally like Silver Tongue, but Season of Promise is not only is another brilliant song, but the way it's kind of sounding, it's like on a post-grunge type of sound, like something from the mid-2000s era, weirdly makes me think on a bit of like that Seether type of tinge of sound and writing. I don't know about you, but that is just me. Other great songs into the tracks of Dead Among the Living, to the longest track on the album, Fable of the Silent Sun, which is very... Uh, explorative and so big into finding various pieces to match things together into this well crafting and wonderful mix into musicianship and powerful production. In terms of my least favourite on the album, as much as I love a lot of the songs on here, Stay is personally my least favourite because it does kind of distract what the rest of the album does achieve in this 100% admiration of me enjoying a lot of this stuff going on. Stay, for me, was not a bad song. It just didn't quite fit in with the rest of the record. Other lyrics on this album deal not only onto, like I said, on the anxiety and the terror onto This Is War, but there are moments with lyrics that help others who are going through a difficult time, just like on the song of Last Man Standing, and some other themes that involve self-optimism and belief to, to bring some positivity in yourself, and various different things going on. And I really appreciate Kennedy as not only a vocalist, but as a lyricist. His lyrics onto the way he thinks is imaginative, it's so thought-provoking and well put together that it did make Alter Bridge, the more I think about this band, one of the most interesting ones because I know that making metal music can be quite easy for many bands, but to really think of something descriptive and as inspired as possible, Alter Bridge is to me one of the best bands for that. The production on this record is out of this world. I love the sound of this record. Top-notch distorted quality from the guitars to these huge dominating drum sounds to the mix onto the bass parts on this record. It is a stunning result. I really think Pawns and Kings is a potential high favourite that may be, be probably positioned in one of my top favourite albums of the year. And with that being said, guys, I think Pawns and Kings by Alter Bridge is a fantastic album. Let me know what you think of this record in the comments down below. Do you love this album? Is this your favourite Alter Bridge album in a long time? Is it one of the top best from the band to you? I am always so looking forward to hear what your overall result on views and comments are for new releases like this one. Much love to Miles Kennedy and company for putting out this near perfect, very strong release. And it did come at the right time, especially into what's been going on throughout this year. But Alter Bridge have definitely mastered something at one of their best moments in their writing and music arrangements as a whole. I'm going to give Pawns and Kings by Alter Bridge a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.